Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about getting better at expressing solutions. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, how do I practice expressing my solutions? I want to get better at it because I tend to express bad solutions the most of the time, that most of the time have bugs and messy code. Well, um, I'm not 100% sure what you mean by this. Uh, expressing, are you saying that you're bad at explaining your solutions or something like that? I'm not sure, honestly. But let's just pretend like uh, you have a problem expressing your solutions in code or like solving problems or showing people the validity of your ideas. So this is where an approach that I really like to do myself, uh, that I use, which is the, it's basically the MVC principle, or it's MVC, not MVC, but I say MVP, minimum viable product. So the MVP way of doing something like expressing your solutions is actually very simple. Start by building a simple implementation of the thing that you're trying to do. Like don't try to build the whole thing, just build the minimum thing that is necessary for you to relay the idea that you have to another person. So start there. And when you have enough code to show this is sort of the direction I'm heading, call over one of your coworkers and rubber duck with that person. Try to explain that this is what you're intending to do with this concept and see how well they understand what you're trying to explain and then listen to their feedback. I do this on almost every second or every third, depending on what, I mean it depends on the nature of the story I'm working on, but it's very often. On, on an average work week it's at least once or twice that I do this, where I know that my code and my solution will actually be much better off if I just build the minimum thing I need in order to kind of get some thoughts rolling around how I want to solve the problem at the end and then showing it to one of my coworkers and ask how are you thinking about this and so forth and in some cases they just go yeah that seems pretty good and in some cases they go oh, okay could you clarify this or that and then I actually have to explain to them what I'm thinking and if I find that I'm stuttering a lot or I'm like almost getting a little bit unsure if it's making sense or not then maybe I need to rethink this a little bit and they will give you give me feedback on the thing that I'm saying and it becomes a discussion and that's the you know if you didn't know that that's sort of the intention of the code review even though there's a lot of other stuff going on with the code reviews uh, politics politics are f fun but that's in essence the best tip I can give you because if you just take the time to get good at well at least emotionally stable enough to present unfinished work or something that and it sort of ties into another thing I said a while back which is that you know a lot of software developers are trying to impress each other or they're afraid that they're gonna get judged for by their code and things like that and I kinda go do you once you get rid of the fear of showing something that is half finished and trust me guys this is not just software developers holy shit I've worked with a lot of people new product developers and people who work in IT who are like they will not allow you to ship something that is not perfect and the thing they never realize is that perfect is a fucking moving target you will never ship it because you will always come up come up with something that is further ahead of where you are and you'll never ship it. You'll just sit there and write software forever and never ever actually get to the end. Because you just, it's like you, they don't get it. You invent something and then you come up and based on that thing, you realize that there's other stuff that would be really nice to add and then you just move the marker <laughs> and then you try to catch up and they, they do it again and again and again because perfection is not something that you can achieve. And when you realize the same thing and you get to an emotional stable place where you feel like, yeah, I sort of feel okay. I mean, uh, that where you really, you know, feel okay with showing something that is not ready and just ask for feedback and you're okay with that, 
you will be able to get this practice in and this practice I promise you will give you a lot in terms of uh, your skill when it comes to expressing solutions and stuff like that I personally I'm a strong dabbler myself which is like the best thing you can be it's actually the same thing that I tell the juniors who are trying to become uh, like uh, who are trying to get into the industry it's better for you to make a hundred small projects than one big one uh, for practice and stuff like that and it's the same principle here play around with stuff dabble with the tinker with stuff and when it's time to try to explain something to somebody else start small build something that can relay the idea show the idea to whoever rubber duck with that person get the feedback and repeat that process many many times over and I promise you you will f very quickly find out that sooner like uh, without knowing it you're not scared to show your code to anybody anymore and you find that your solution actually your solutions become more and more refined I promise you that's uh, that's the end result that's gonna happen if you keep this sort of process up so what I want you to take away from this is that my best tip for people who want to get better at expressing solutions is to work in an MVP fashion or proof of concept stuff uh, dabble in your free time play with small projects things like that just create stuff that is create something that feels creative and stimulating to you ideally as realistic as you can make it and then when you're in a situation as when you're working with the software team if you're if you're looking to do something extravagant or something a little bit out there or something that you're you know you're trying to solve something uh, that's either complicated for you or if it's something that is groundbreaking who knows before you build the whole thing and confuse yourself build a small little piece of it enough so that you can relay the thoughts and then try to explain it to somebody that's usually the way to go about it and if you do that you first and foremost get the benefit of early feedback so you can figure out if you should continue on this path yes or no and the second thing is that you it's going to desensitize you to the prestige that a lot of developers have when they work if you can kill that off it's going to help you a lot but don't underestimate either the value of getting early feedback on the work that you do because it's a lot easier to fix a problem before when it's in the early stages of your development when you're doing the proof of concept it's more fun to fix that than it is to build the whole super solution and then at the end realize that you have someone just come in over your shoulder and go that's never gonna work you're gonna have to redo it or even worse maybe you don't have time to redo it and now you have to hack it and now you just contributed to the global reserve of legacy code have a great day